What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today it's Sunday meaning it's time for Heels Hauls and we're going to be taking a look at everything I picked up this week and you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is going to be a stacked Heels Hauls, my weekly purchases. And as usual, it is brought to you by the new book, The Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition. Features a foreword by Xavier Woods, photography by Matthew Goldberg, who used to do all of the AEW Jazzwear stuff. Um, I mean, it's got everything, a picture for every listing, every basic, every elite every ultimate battle pack two packs three packs box sets whatever you want guys it is in here and it's very very up to date i mean look it's got the gooker it's got muhammad ali just to give you an idea of how up to date this thing is and it's even got stuff that you probably forgot about or don't even know exists so very cool look we got all the micro brawlers what's this uh cello toys FC toys look stuff that's not even out yet guys it's all here the wrestling figure encyclopedia the modern edition 2010 to 2023 available now on amazon.com you can click the link below to order and yes i have some empty shelves here because it's that time of the year summertime i start to reorganize the heel cave got rid of a lot of aew figures where did they go we will talk about it soon but today what we're talking about is my pickups and first up these were on sale on Amazon for like five bucks, so I couldn't not get them, right? Number 120 and 121 in the line. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Rocky My Via. Um, this is actually the Funko exclusive metallic version. And here is the non-metallic. So you can see the difference is very, very subtle, but cool. And this Ricky Steamboat, this has got to be one of the best ones they've done. I'm surprised that they didn't make this the glow in the dark as opposed to the um bam bam bigelow but man what a pop and look at this picture on the back god gotta love ricky right another sale i got this for 12 bucks on ebay aj styles the ultimate edition i wasn't gonna get it but i figured it would be fun to unbox and probably put on display um i love the cloth goods hoodie the hood on the hoodie i mean we got the cloth goods shirt Great head scans on all of them. I think the middle one might be my favorite. Um, just a great figure. I can't wait to unbox this and take a look at it. And now on to the good stuff, guys. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. First up, Rush Collectibles, Ringmaster Series 1. We got Jonah. This is the standard edition, the Bam Bam version. Very, very cool. I'm going to do an unboxing next week, which I want you all to check out so we can uh, talk about these and see how they hold up and how they live up to the expectations of retro figures today. Um, so I don't want to talk too, too much about them. I do love the deco on this. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's very well done. Uh, I'm not crazy about the packaging, but I will talk about that in the uh, unboxing, as I said. But from first glance, I think that these ringmasters are pretty nice. The detail is very, very clean looking. Jonah, a.k.a. Bronson Reed, getting figures out the wazoo. And the next figure in Ringmaster Series 1 that I got, Larry Zabisco. Here's the three variants. We got the Standard Edition, Asylum, and this is a UK. Black trunks, red trunks, and this is like the WCW, I think. Uh, I believe. I got, I got to do a little bit of research, but I'm pretty sure when I looked at it months ago, that's what it was. The black and white. Very, very cool. Um, we're going to talk about these, like I said what I think. Um, at first glance, I mean, it looks just like the prototype. I don't think that the head sculpt was excellent, but it looks just like the prototype to me. So yeah. And my favorite of the set, you know, I love the obscure guys. So roadblock was easily going to be my favorite. The standard, the dead end road closed, which is asylum. 
And this one, the uh, actual roadblock design, very, very cool. I don't know, I just think I, I just think these figures are so cool. Uh, they, they, and it comes with an accessory. I love the different signs and, and ode to different roadblocks and road signs. It's just a cool figure. But I do think it's probably likeness wise, the best head sculpt. Deco probably is gonna go to Jonah. But again, I'm gonna unbox these and we're gonna talk about them. So I don't wanna give too, too much opinion without having them opened in hand. And I'll review everything from the package, the blister, um, everything. So yeah, shout out to Rush Collectibles. A lot of people were doubting that they could pull this off. And guess what? They did. Um, I don't have the Asylum exclusive of the Jonah, but right now they have nine figures on the market. And the French Angel, which is the one I'm looking forward to the most, is coming soon. So they went from having zero figures to ten figures on the market. Um, very out of nowhere, you know? Like, it, it took a while to get these filled, but they came through. A lot of people were doubting. Rush came through, and I got to give them props for that. So, On to the Elites. I picked up this Elite Series 100 Rey Mysterio. I was on a trip to Delaware, and I figured no, no uh, sales tax, so why not? I wanted it for the... Um, Cruiserweight Championship, which we should have got with the Halloween Havoc. It's crazy that we didn't, but gotta love WCW Ray. All of Ray's figures are incredible. I don't think there's ever been a miss. I just really enjoy his elites. Um, look at this art. And Jonathan Bartlett, so good. So I have all of Elite 100 minus Becky Lynch and John Cena. I'll probably get them on a sale, but I really wanted this Ray. Love the belt. I don't really need the Cena, I don't really need the Becky, but just to complete this monumental series, I, I will get them eventually, but very, very cool. And uh, we've got Dominic on his arm, which is really, really fun considering uh, everything that has transpired. And this next one is a shocker, Series 97. Chainsaw Charlie, you're probably thinking, hey, Heel, you picked this up a while ago. I did, and I returned it because it was in bad condition. And guess what? I never picked up one to replace it, and I completely forgot. Luckily, I was just doing an inventory of all of my elites, and I realized, where's Chainsaw Charlie? And I realized I returned it and never got a new one. So, luckily, in Delaware, they had one, so I had to pick it up. Great figure. Not crazy about the masthead, but it gets the job done, right? I, I You can't complain too much. Comes with an extra Terry head. But man, Chainsaw Charlie... I will always be happy with these figures. I would love to get a Superstars Chainsaw Charlie. I think it'd be really cool. Look at that. God, I just, I love this character. I really do. Very, very cool. Now, on to some vintage pickups. AWA Remco, I went down a rabbit hole one night before bed, just laying in bed and looking at stuff. And I remember that there was a couple AWA Remcos I've been wanting to get. First up, we got the Long Riders. Um, I've been after these for a long time, but I've wanted them complete, and it's very, very hard to find them complete, complete. You know what I'm saying? So complete, complete means the figure, the correct heads, correct bodies, the duster, the glasses, the helmet, and the one vest over here. So very cool that I was able to complete these. Bill Irwin over here. Um, I'm unsure. One of them has an open back hat. I'm not sure who it's supposed to be, but I put it on Bill. And this one has a back closed hat. Look, he's got the vest. I mean, absolutely complete, complete. And that makes me happy. So I had to pick them up for a great price too. Uh, and a native of my town, Deptford, New Jersey, we have Big Dick Whirly. Um... My dad used to always see Dick Whirly in our local convenience store, Wawa, all the time. And I just was always enamored, you know, like, oh, he, he's got an action figure and, and he's in my town. He's in my town. And, and when he passed away, I remember it being a big deal in the community, all over the newspaper and such, um, which is very cool. I don't know. It's just very cool to me to see that. So I, it only made sense for me to finally have his figure. And I found one that's completely mint. It's hard with these referees to find really good because the paint application is, almost looks like spray paint, you know? But um, I believe this is the blue-eyed variant. So I'm unsure which one is the hard, and they call them hard and soft dick. But 
I'm just happy to have Dick in the collection. See what I did there? And moving on. Boom, Series 103 Stardust. These went up on Amazon last week. I posted the link for you guys. It said they were not gonna ship until September. And everybody goes, oh, it says not September, no thanks. And I said, don't pay attention to those release dates. I say this every time I post a link. Do not pay attention to that. Amazon just puts a long shot date up there so you guys leave them alone. They always ship before. And what happened? Less than a week later, I had these in my mailbox. And these, you'll see why I say these. So first up, we have the Hard Times WrestleMania Stardust with the dusty dots. Absolutely love this. And my favorite inclusion is the dots on the ladder. Interchangeable hands. Very cool figure. You gotta love that. From the fifth dimension. Six feet, two inches, 220 pounds, dark matter. And obviously we know this is Cody Rhodes, or is it? The Polka Dot of Prince of Dark Matter paid tribute to Dusty Rhodes in the seven-man Intercontinental Championship ladder match at WrestleMania 32. I'm going to be opening this, and I cannot wait. But as you heard, I said these figures, and that's because they sent me a chase. I know initially it had a picture of a chase on the Amazon listing. Doesn't mean you're going to get one. I always order extra, and what do you know? They sent me a Stardust with my order in the blue. This is very reminiscent of that Mutants series basic of Stardust, except it's an elite form. I love the new Stardust hands. It's perfect for posing. I wish that he had a smile on his face, kind of like the picture, but beggars can't be choosers, probably because all of his other Stardust figures have the smile or open mouth scan. So it is what it is. Stars on the boots with the S, very, very cool. Um, I do know the back of this one says Hard Times instead of Stardust, which I think is really cool. This one's got the plain ladder. And honestly, of this set, this is the only figure that I wanted. I'm not crazy about the Bobby Lashley. Don't need another Roman. Don't really need another Montez and Angelo, even though I do think they're pretty cool. And I don't need another Liv. So this is it for me for Series 103. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which was your favorite pickup that I got this week and what your favorite pickup is you got this week. Don't forget to pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia on Amazon.com and join Whatnot at WhatHeal.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next week. We are about to have a lot of work ahead of us. See you guys. Peace. Aren't these figures just beautiful though? Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.